Um, anybody else? Go, um, Jim? Wait until he goes back and gets another I would just ask, do either one of you have a yes or no answer? If any plans to reach out to proven Republican supporters for their help? And if so, can you name the person? Supporters or donors? Supporters or donors. Okay. Pro proven, proven Republican supporters. I'm sorry, ask the question again? To, to reach Re out? Reach, reach out to any pro proven Republican supporters of the past that have shown themselves to put themselves on the line for the Republican Party in the state of Massachusetts. As everyone should be included, absolutely. Monetary or? <laughs> you, whatever you consider the most important, whether it's support, usually it's less money. I'm looking for a specific, uh, what I'm really asking for is a specific person. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, look, if, if, you're, if, you're chair, if you're chair of the party, really it is, you know, it's incumbent upon you as the highest representative of the state party to call whoever it may be. So it could be Carrie Healy, it could be Mitt Romney, it could be Daryl Crate, absolutely. If, you know, if it's someone who can help us, in whether it's in media attention or financially, they should be called. Well, I don't have permission really to give out names here tonight, but uh, I would call uh, Rob Willington. I know him very well. I've been working with him a lot in the field. On the marriage amendment, we worked a lot, and it was uh, extremely successful uh, before it got into the legislature. So Rob Willington is one I would uh, contact immediately, and then I have dozens and dozens of supporters, Republican supporters, who have donated their time, their money, and resources to campaigns I've been, been involved with, and those are supporters across the whole state, not just in my, my region. Monica? Yes, I do. Uh, I just want to thank at the past election in November of 2008. If there's one thing that you could have changed as chairman and that you would have done differently, uh, what is it and why? Well, I was a candidate in 2008, so I was very focused on what I was doing in the field, and we did the best we could do based on the resources we had. And all I can really say is that we continue to work. If you had been chairman. If, if I had been chairman. Well, uh, I, I would, uh, without being critical or criticizing and I, I, I would have a, I have a whole different leadership style than uh, Peter. Um, I've, I've seen Peter out at regional events and conferences and those kinds of things. Uh, um, you're going to see a lot more of me at, in the coffee shop with the one, two or three people who belong to a local committee or in a, and or a regional committee working with them for several hours and on an afternoon, you know, figuring out what it is that we're doing wrong and doing right and trying to model the right things we're doing ac across the state, populating that across the state. And, and a lot of it is, you know, hey, is your committee legally formed? Some people think their committee is formed. How many Republicans have you spoken to who actually thought they were on committees but really weren't? You know, these are the kinds of fundamental things that we need to look at and say, why are these things happening? So my, my leadership style is going to be totally different. Maybe, maybe it's because of the way you know, my, my career path has been where I did the grunt work for, for officers above me in the Air Force, and, and um, I've done the grunt work in the Republican ranks because there's so much opportunity to do that work. If you, you know, it's all around you. So if you're not doing some of it, then there, there, there could be a, a problem or an issue there. 2008 was just a hard year. Um, you know, it went from the top of the ticket down. If I had to, if I was chair, um, one of the things that drove me crazy was the Sunday before Election Day, woke up and the Boston Globe took our platform from us. They took the greatest thing that we could have been out there stomping about to get our candidates elected. The front page of the Globe had Diane Wilkerson, Spillane, um, Rogers, 
to Macy. They had all of these people on the front cover and not a Republican. On the inside was a nice little editorial, one from John Walsh, the chairman of the Democratic Party, and one from Peter. And that was it. There was no one else out there yelling and screaming. And in those last hours, I think if we had a voice and we said, look, by the way, you know, we have some great candidates out there and we can potentially win these seats, we would have had a much better chance to finding ourselves at that last moment. Um, and we, at the end of the day, we had about five candidates or so that got 46 to 49 percent of the vote as state reps. That's amazing. What a great pull by them when some of their areas lost the Obama-McCain fight by, you know, more than that. I mean, it was 60 percent Obama to 40 percent or 70 to 30 percent. Um, and then the other thing that we could have done really is go to our partners, go to the um, social conservatives, the fiscal conservatives, the school choice groups, the think tanks, the um, school choice groups, the um, young Republicans, go to everyone and say we either need your bodies for these X amount of fights or we need dollars and we need it right now because the Democrats just have lots of money at the last minute from the unions and special interest groups that they could throw in and we need to have the same for our, our candidates. We're running low on tape so if Sal runs out, uh, sorry if I you know, prevented you from being a TV star. So